here we are, ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon on a beautiful football cloudy weather day. Collinwood Athletic Complex, where the Collinwood Cobras will play the Southside Panthers for the Pee Wee Championship of the 2021 football season. My name is John Good, and I'm joined here by my partner, Jason Dunn. Jason, it's been a great season for these two teams, making it to the championship, but overall, a successful se season in this Pee Wee division. A very successful season, John. We have a 52-degree day here today. Clear, the rain is let up, and I'm just excited, and I'm prepared to watch some great football. Yeah, I am too. And uh, these two teams are very talented. They've got some great players. We're going to see guys like Michael Strofire, Xavier Steele, Aaron K uh, Carroll, Jamarvion Pippen, Ramir Kirby, and Volante McCord, the key players in both teams, ready to duke it out for this Pee Wee Championship in Cleveland Muni football for this 2021 season. Now, we'll go with the player introductions to Mr. Jason Dunn, the director of Cleveland Muni football. Jason, take it away. Welcome to Collinwood Athletic Complex for today's 2021 Pee Wee Championship game. Today's matchup is the Collinwood Cobras versus the Southside Packers. We're gonna first start off with player introductions from the Collinwood Cobras. Number one, Santana Cockburn. Number two, Raymere Kirby. Number three, Chase Youngblood. Number four, Tishan McGee. Number five, Jamar Jamarmion Pippen. Number six, Will Smith. Number seven, Kalani Bridges. Number eight, Gabriel Thomas. Number nine, Kylan Williams. Number 10, Amari Levitt. Number 13, Elijah Blackman. Number 16, Samar Davis. Number 20, Christian Doss. Number 21, Delante McCord. Number 23, Leah Smith. Number 24, Twan Hayes. Number 28, Kingston Henderson. Number 30, Donovan Harris. Number 31, Britton Benjamin. Number 32, Justin Carter. Number 50, Xavier Williams. Number 72, Jamar Graves. Number 95, Amari Williams. Number 99, King Moore. And number 14, Damian Finn. Collinwood Cobras are coordinated by Darnell Banks, head coach David Morgan, offensive coordinator Kobe Orr, defensive coordinator Dave Mitchell, assistants Clarence Davis, Floyd Tate, Isaiah Thomas, the 2021 Pee Wee Division Collinwood Cobras. Now, for the Southside Panthers. Number zero, Aaron Carroll. Number one, Bryce Terman. 
Number two, St. Anthony Crawford. Number three, Xavier Steele. Number five, Justin Donaldson. Number six, Abram Calloway. Number seven, Michael Shropshire Jr. Number eight, Kai Caldwell. Number 10, Casey Allison Jr. Number 13, Willie McMillian. Number 15, Jaron Weatherless. Number 17, Cordell Smith. Number 21, Brandon Alexander. Number 25, Julian Wide. Number 31, Deion Butler. Number 72, Frederick Ward. Number 73, Amir Jacobs. Number 75, Corey Travis. Number 95, Jalen Peters. Number 97, Brandon Tompkins. Number 99, Ernest Dowdell III. And number 22, LaVille Ramsey Jr. The Southside Panthers are coordinated by Michael Shropshire, Sean Perkins, head coach Michael Shropshire, defensive coordinator Kevin Steele, assistants Ernest Dowdell, Julian Wise, Marche Turner, Elizabeth Burton, Burton, Charday Roberts, Brooklyn Shropshire, and Redrick Ward. Your 2021 Pee Wee Division Southside Panthers. At this moment, I'm going to ask that everybody rise for the plan of the National Anthem. back and ready to rock and roll for the 2021 Pee Wee Division championship game between the Southside Panthers and the Collinwood Cobras. The game officials for today will be a group that is very experienced, very good. We have four referees, Ralph King, a 1976 graduate of Shaw High School, 37 year is as a football official, Cleveland Division of Recreation. Ralph runs this facility and does a very good job of it. Shemaya Jones is our other referee. 
line judge, 91 grad of John Hay, played high school baseball for Tim Wells, and eight years as a football official, employed at Cleveland Clinic in the IT division, Ed Washington, Jr., head linesman, 79 graduate of St. Joseph High School, 15 years as a football official, currently employed with the city of Cleveland Water Department, and one heck of a football player himself, and our fourth referee will be Mel Parker, line judge, 1988 graduate of Aviation High School, 16 years as a, a, a football official and the owner of a construction company. Those gentlemen are well experienced and are going to do a fine job today as the football guys have shared some sun uh, on down on us to help us through this day. Let's take a look now at uh, the key players. Oh, no, we're going to talk about the division rule. Jason, take it away. Okay, the rules of the Pee Wee division, uh, we play eight-minute quarters, regulation clock. We play four, four timeouts per game with one additional timeout and overtime session if needed. There are no kickoffs on the Pee Wee level. The ball is placed on the 35-yard line, and the ready whistle is blown. There are also no punts in the Pee Wee division. We use an automatic uh, walk-off where the ball has advanced 20 yards with a 15-second runoff of the clock. We do traditional scoring, uh, a touchdown is six points, a safety is two points. However, you can get two points by kicking the extra point or one by either running or passing the ball. Uh, there was a previous matchup of these two teams on September 25th, probably right out in the middle of the season, toward the end, at Collin uh, Collinwood and Southside Panthers came out on top 19 to 14, so I'm pretty sure the Cobras want to even that score today. Let's take a look at the Collinwood Cobras key players. Okay. And they got some good ones, don't they, Jason? They do. You know, the Collinwood Cobras, they got a mix of speed and size. And one of the key players at running back is number five, Jamarvion Pippen. Pippen is a keen t uh, team captain. He's very athletic, quick. Uh, he's a leader on the field, and he's very dominant on defense. Uh, another one of the dominant players is number two. He's a tight end, a left defensive end, Raymer Kirby. Raymer has great hands. He's an outstanding blocker coming out of the backfield. He tackles um, well, and he's an aggressive player. Number 21, running back and outside linebacker, Volante McCord. He's their power runner. He's a change of pace back. He loves to play defense, and he's a great tackler. And those are the key players for the Collinwood Cobras. They also want to avoid mistakes. Uh, as one of their keys to the game, uh, execute on offense, sustain the blocks, and they feel like they must stop the run of the big playability of Aaron Carroll, one of the key players over uh, for the Southside Panthers. Uh, this division, again, 11-12 uh, year olds, as you take a look at the coin toss, as the two ca uh, team's captains meet out on in the middle of the field, you know, we had, a, we had a total of 14 teams in the, in the Pee Wee division this year, and these are our, our two finalists. You know, it was a very competitive division this year. Mm -hmm. Where you had the Collinwood Cobras, who, you know, very aggressive offensively, uh, experienced coaching staff. And, you know, the same, you know, the same goes for the South South Panthers. Uh, these are first year in Muni football, but these are guys who's been around youth football for quite some time. And as we, as you know by right now, if you don't know, the Collinwood Cobras, uh, third year, uh, fourth season in Muni football, uh, have already captured uh, a 12U City Championship this year. First year of that division being played in Cleveland Muni football. But they've also had other successes, uh, in particular in the 2019 season, when they sent three teams to the playoffs, uh, to the championship in the Termite Junior and Pee Wee Division and came up, unfortunately, winless. So they collected three runner-up trophies here, uh, excuse me, in 19. But this year, these uh, organizations, uh, this organization has uh, repeated this, their appearance in this Pee Wee Division and will try to capture their first championship in the conventional Muni Divisions uh, in this Pee Wee uh, division and see if they can get a championship here today. But first they have to go through the Southside Panthers uh, in order to do so. You know, some of the keys for the Southside Panthers today is they, they want to have great communication. Uh, the coach feels like that's one of their strengths. If they can communicate, they can execute and they can play well. They also want to execute on offense. Uh, they know that their team is relying on, on the front five, so they must sustain their blocks. They must do a great job to neutralize the defensive front, which is pretty aggressive from these Cobras. 
the linebackers on defense must tackle well. They want to eliminate big plays because, of, as you know, the Collinwood Cobras is the number one offense in the PB division this year. So missing tackles and letting the, letting the um, Cobras out to big gains could be, you know, a recipe for failure. So the South Side Panthers, they want to, at all costs, eliminate all big plays from these backs of the Collinwood Cobras. Okay, it looks like the Collinwood Cobras are going to take the field first on offense. They won the toss. I got a little bit of hint there when I saw the football fly out from that sideline, you know. I got my, our staff here is a little distracted on on the coin toss. So, been around long enough, Jason. I know whoever throws the football out is the first one's on offense. Yeah, first one on offense. Yeah, so the Collinwood Cobras will start off this game. And the in Collinwood Cobra, territory. and they're taking out the number one ranked offense in the Pee Wee division this year on the field. Ball starts on the 35 yard line. The punts, as my partner already explained, choose whether you want to do it or not. I'm pretty sure there's going to be no punts in this game. And here we go. Collinwood starting off on, on offense. With Justin Carter, Britton Benjamin, Christian Doss, Jamar Gray, Jamar Gray, Sam Samir Davis. And here we go. Right up the middle, the first play given to the running back. I believe that's Pippen. They want to get him going. And he doesn't pick up much. Matter of fact, I think that was Volante McCord on that carry. Yeah, that was Volante McCord on that carry. And, and that front, that front four from the uh, from the South Side Panthers was ready. You know, they feel like that's the strength of their defense, and if they can get if they can get pushed up front, they can disrupt everything the Cobras want to do offensively. So that's the job for Benjamin Doss, Graves, Davis, and Kirby, along with Carter, to make sure they keep that South Side Panther defensive line in check. Second down, about eight. Quarterback turns, gives to the running back. He barrels forward for about a pickup of two and a half. Almost three. It's going to be third down and about five. You know, those South Side Panthers linebackers was quick to feel that time. You know, it looked like he had a hole there, and them linebackers closed it fast. So Volante McCord gets his second carry and as many plays here early in the first quarter. Again, a beautiful football day weather-wise. Cloudy. Sun is trying to crack through here in Northeast Ohio. Quarterback in his pistol gets the ball. He's going to take it around the left side, and he shut down real quick as it was directly snapped to Pippen. Coming up with the tackle was number 25, Julian Wise. Did you take a look at it here again, partner? You know, he came downhill, and he was holding on for dear life. That was a great open field tackle. If he don't make that tackle, you know, you, you might get a first down from the Cobras. So that's a great defensive stop. So the Cobras' decision time. As far as whether they want to punt or go for it on fourth down, I think they did the right thing here. That they'll march off 35 yards. Yeah, it's, you know, so you, you got to feel you got to feel the team out first. Your opponent, you know, you don't want to gamble too early. You know, go ahead, take the punt, and play defense. Coach David Morgan makes the call. Former high school football player from Collinwood, second year as the head coach for the Collinwood Cobras, and now Southside Panthers will take over. You know, and David Morgan is also a product of Muni football, playing for the late, great Sylvester Summerall with the East uh, 97th Street Bulldogs. Great program indeed. Uh, always wishing that program well. They're knocking on the door. I got a feeling they'll be back soon the right way, Jason. Absolutely. First down, first possession for South Southside. Ball's in the air, man, wide open by himself. Oh. And in his anticipation of receiving the football, not able to come up with it, was number seven for the Panthers. And that would be Michael Shropshire Jr. Michael Shropshire Jr. And you, you want to talk about the aggressive nature of play calling for senior, Michael Shropshire Sr. Uh, Michael Shropshire Sr. is a graduate of East Tech High School, 1998 graduate. Last, uh, last program to beat Glenville in the Senate. Here's a successful play. 
Well, slashing right off the left side. As you take a look there, it looked like Marvion Pippen was there for the stop along with other host of Cobras. But a good job and a positive game right there for the Panthers. And yeah, we're going to be calling Jamarion's name a lot. He's one of those high usage players, both offensively and defensively. You know, the, he, he accounts for a lot of tackles on defense. So the Panthers are led by St. Crawford. Got to keep an eye on these numbers because they're quick to change the quarterback to get the ball to who they want to run the football. Good move right there by number three, Xavier Steele as he's able to get up beyond the first down marker. I believe it's to be the first down, first first down of the ball game. Take a look at it again here. Yeah, and the Cobras, they did a great job of swarming. Xavier Steele, he's one of those kids, he's a key player with great speed. Uh, he had a big run in the first matchup that actually ultimately sealed, sealed the win for him. So this is a kid you want to try to keep bottled up and keep him in between the tackles. And if that name sounds familiar, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and fans of Munich football out there, I believe Mr. Steele was an all-star last year and performed admirably for these Panthers. So it's good to see him back this year, keeping his same standard, high standard of football play on the field uh, and revealing himself as one of the key players for the success of the Southside Panthers in this 2021 season. The referees have uh, discussed the call. Looks like there was a flag on the play. They're adding on. No, oh, I didn't even see it. That was the invisible flag. So it's against the Cobra. The legal participation mm -hmm. on the defense. But they had too many players on the field. Working out the cobwebs early in this football game. Five minutes left to go in the first quarter. Initial uh, possession of the football for the Panthers as they cross over into Cobra territory. Yeah, this Panther team this is not a team you want to give free yards to. I saw them warming up, and they look pretty athletic. And they're pretty disciplined, too. At least they showed it on that play. And there's another one right there that looks like it's going to be against the defense. And... It definitely is, and it's, you know, it's the defense shooting themselves in the foot, giving up more yardage. So the Panthers in this division did not score, excuse me, they did not score, uh, or they did score really well, 24.3 points they average per ball game. So they can put points on the football as they... Get a running play here out to the left, to the right side, but good job by the defensive end on that side to wrap him up. And that is going to be a fine stop by the young man, number seven, I believe it is. Yeah, that was, that was a great job by defensive end of stringing that out. And he allowed for Jamari, number five, Jamarion Pippen, and number, five, or number seven, Kalani Bridges, to come out there and, and clean up. So the Seahawks are pick up about three yards second and second and two we'll take a look at that quarterback under center immediate handoff right up the middle enough for the first down that looks like it's going to move the chains Yeah, the referee just gave the signal, and that is enough for a first down for the Southside Panthers. So a good job right there by Saint to just turn and give, give it off to, I think it was Carroll on that play to pick up the first down. Yeah, this Panthers the offense is sure hard to stop, man. They, they can mix it up inside out. Yeah, they have a lot of weapons watching them on in their path on their way to this championship football game. They did a very good job with the uh, Westside Wolverines and PAL 6 of scoring points. It's another inside handoff. And the whole Collinwood defense corrals Mr. Wise once again and pushed him back. You know, the, you know, the Cobra's defense better be careful right here. You know, right now they're running in between the tackles. They're running those fullback dives. They're trying to set him up to pop something outside to one of these speedy guys, either Xavier Steele or Michael Shropshire. And, and let's make a note, John.
the Collinwood Cobras have not been scored on the entire playoffs. No, they haven't. They sure haven't. They beating have. Sims 33 to nothing and beating the Southside Seahawks 27 to nothing. But these uh, Aaron Carroll and this Southside Seahawks offense, excuse me, Southside Panther offense, is really putting assault as they creep into the red zone. Here we go with the counter. <laughs> what, what did I tell you, John? He's quick. <laughs> Low strokes. Sire is, 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 is quick. And he showed that quickness right there. As we'll probably take another look at this play. But looking at looking at him right there, he's got some quicks, and he's not afraid to put his foot in the ground and get upfield. You know, Coach Dave Morgan, you know, he's like I said, he's seen his team before. They played in the regular season, it was a close game. And, you know, same game plan, you know, pound, 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 get around the edge. So they're gonna have to tighten up on defense. First and goal. A little squirt right through there. Pick up some positive yards. About two. And it'll be second down and six and a half, five and a half. You know, defensive coordinator from the Collinwood Cobras, you might want to try to dial up some pressure down here. You might want to send one of them linebackers, try to anticipate where the ball is going, and try to create a turnover. Yeah, it kind of disrupt this uh this rhythm that it seems like Saint has the Panther offense in. Under center, he takes the snap, he turns and he gives to number three, and he's in the end zone. Nope, uh, he stopped him at the one. Wow, I thought sure. he flashed in the end zone, but he's able to stop him right there as Xavier Steele was the one that hit that hole really hard behind Peters, Dowdell, Ward, Jacobson, Donaldson, along with Terman, as you take a look at this uh, this replay. You know, he shot through there. And yeah, look, they actually cut back. Yeah, they did stop him. It was a host of it was a host of Cobras right there at the goal line to meet him. Full backfield. Saint under center turns, gives it up back. The full back and he's in. He's in there. A good job right there by the offensive line and the offensive unit of the Southside Panthers as they get the initial touchdown of this 2021 Pee Wee Championship football game you know that was a great that was a great drive by the south side panther that drive took over six minutes you know he, he bled the clock down we have 54 seconds to go in the first quarter now quick first quarter when one team has the ball the entire entire quarter yeah collinwood the cobras went one, uh, three plays and out and the uh, panthers did exactly what they've been doing uh, all season being one of the highest scoring teams in this division at 24.3 and they're off to a to a good start. Turn, Saint tosses, man opens, trying to get into the end zone. He does. No. Pushed him out of bounds. He got pushed out of bounds. Good job by the defense on that side of the field, getting to the carry and getting pushed out of bounds. I believe on that reception was might have been number four. I believe it was. You know that, that was a big stop for the defense. They needed that right there after giving up points on that drive to come out there and stop the extra point. But we all know how important extra points are in Muni football as we take a look at it right here. Quarterback fakes to the ghost running back <laughs> and tosses it right out here, wide open. That's number one. Makes a move outside. The referee says he stepped. As you can see right there, it's kind of close. No, I think I see some green there. Jason, it's, between it, his it, foot and the, and the, and the, and the, no, he's well inbound. He's, yeah. Wow, he is well what, inbound. What, did, did the ball come out? No, where's the ball at? The, the ball, when he goes over the goal line, looks like the ball is out in front. Oh, he lost the he football. He lost the ball. He lost the ball before he got across the goal line, so. And that was a great job by number seven, Kalani Bridges, standing in front. Good job by the referee to pick that up. And the Cobras come out with their second series of this first quarter with the clock ticking under a minute to go and a good job right there by number 21 finding the hole on that play of Alante McCord. So Alante McCord with the best offensive play for the Cobras this afternoon as he picked up about eight yards. 
Now let's see how well this, this Southside Panthers defense react after being on the field so long. A lot of these kids going both ways. Second and two. Quarterback is the football, direct snap, and he goes right up the middle, but he's going to be stopped short. A whole host of Panthers on that right side pushing him back, and a big play by the defense. Man, that's a tough defensive front. Did a good job right there. I believe that was uh, Santana Cogburn getting a, getting a snap and trying it up right up the middle, but cut down short. As we come to the end of the first quarter, and at the end of the first quarter, we have the Southside Panthers, six, the Collinwood Cobras, nothing. Young brother, if you pick up this to settle a petty dispute or beef over a girl or perceived diss or territory, there are only two places you will end up either in a six by eight foot hell hole known as a prison cell, or here in the cemetery, in an even smaller kind of box, a coffin. We don't need another tombstone, street corner shrine, vigil, or mother in tears wailing about how the son she loved died alone in a hail of bullets on a cold, dark city street. We've had more than enough of that. What we do need, however, are more young men who go on to become business owners, doctors, lawyers, and teachers more young men who live long enough to become great fathers and grandfathers. Knowing how to load and cock a pistol and pull a trigger doesn't make you a man. So don't settle your arguments with a gun. Talk it out, don't shoot it out. We give a damn about you. Your life matters. All right, welcome back to the 2021 Pee Wee Championship here at Collinwood Sports Complex where the Southside Panthers just scored. The first score of the game, six to nothing as they lead here with the Cobras. With the football approaching midfield, still on their side of the field. Number five got the direct snap that time. And yeah, he, was, he was met with that linebacker, number 25, Julian Wise. Yeah, you see, you see Pippen, one of the key players, and 25 right there, able to wrap him up and a fine defensive play that brings down, a, brings up a third down and, no, excuse me, first down. They got the first down on that play. Starting to get some raindrops here. Let's see if, this, if the weather plays a factor into this. Hopefully it won't last long. Quarterback in the pistol. He gets the ball. And he goes straight ahead, but he's met solidly by that front defensive line. The whole side of that defensive line. Smith, Peters, and Dowdell, along with Donaldson to bring him down. And Santana Cogburn had nowhere to go as he didn't get the best effort from his offensive line. Yeah, the offensive line, they, they, they got to lock in and they got to get engaged. Like I said, this defensive, this defensive front from these Panthers is stout. They're tough. They're mean, they're aggressive, you know. And the Collinwood Cobra's a team that run outside a lot. And they, they, they might be kind of keeping that in the bag right now to try to surprise them. Pee Wee Division, 10 and 11 year olds. No weight limit. One division below the Bantams, one division above the Juniors. And there's a fumble on the play. And Panthers have recovered it. Number 73 is on the recovery for the Panthers, and that is Amir Jacobs. Yeah, you look at that. The timing was never right from the snap and, and getting the handoff to the back, and the back's eyes were upfield the whole time. He, he never got that cleanly, and he was worried about where the defense was at and where he wanted to go. And see, that's what happens, folks, when you got a defense that's stout, that's uh, penetrating, that's... Uh, not giving much room. It, it, it takes the concentration off the offensive players every once in a while to see where they're at, where he shouldn't even have to worry about that. He should be able to get the ball cleanly. That way he can make his moves as necessary to follow his blockers and try to get it to some open, open area to make a big play. 
Yeah, this is not a team you want to make a lot of mistakes against, especially turning the ball over on their side of the field. Now you're giving them the ball with a short field with an offense just kind of chugging along right now. So it'll be first down and 10. Step up on that the ball Get is, the again, like my partner said, in corporate territory on the 41 yard line. Let's go on the snap. On the snap. There we go. Yeah, we got a penalty before that snap. Looks like it could be on the offense. I believe there's not enough players in the backfield, or maybe too many. And Saint turned and gave it to Aaron Carroll, and now we got another got another penalty as a disgruntled player said something that the referee did not like, and that is definitely not going to be tolerated. Yeah, you, you got to keep a cool head out here. When things are not going your way, you get penalties and you get a string of bad plays. You just have to settle down, take a deep breath, and rally your teammates. Yeah, that was number two with that uh, bad decision for, for yeah, Collinwood. Ray Mayor Kirby. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Coach will get him settled down so he can make some plays for his team in this game. Kirby, last, a fine player. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is give an already explosive offense more yards in a shorter field. Yeah, that's like pouring gas on the fire. Come on, y'all. So on, with that yeah, penalty, the ball is advanced, and it is an automatic first down. They had to reset the change now. They will move the change down. Slow to move, but they're moving. Yeah, they're getting there. <laughs> Volunteer crew, folks. Volunteer crew. Quick handoff. A good job by the offensive line. Aaron Carroll on a quick hitter right up the middle. Nothing fancy, Jason. Nothing at all. And, and that's what happens when the defense starts to get out of sync and you start worrying about the officials. You take your mind off of the task at hand, and that's making tackles and executing. And that's all it was. It just... It's making the tackle, but nobody in that middle before Carroll was out for a big 10-yard pickup. You know, Coach David Morgan, he might want to consider, you know, you know, just like in basketball, you want to stop the fast break, you want to stop the bleeding, take a timeout, rally the kids, bring the coaching staff to the numbers, and, you know, just e exhale. <laughs> That's right. That's right. As the referee has a couple words with the... Cobra's coaching staff to make sure that everything is okay. The Seahawks team ranked, uh, excuse me, this Panther team ranked high in defense and in offense. Second in both categories to who? To the Collinwood Cobras. The Collinwood Cobras. But uh, Collinwood Cobras haven't shown their best hand yet while the Panthers are marching for the second time into Cobra territory. Uh, let's see down there. what we have now. It looked like it might be offense. I saw the right guard wiggle a little bit, even though they knew it was going on too. He couldn't hold his water, as we said. So, first down and 15 now. Yeah, Ray Mary Kirby checking into the game late on defense. Good stop right there by, by number seven. Number seven, Kalani Bridges on that stop. Good job by Bridges as he took down Carroll. And that was a great stop. He actually had to ward off a blocker right there. He's engaged and just, he separated himself. He got off of that and made a great tackle. Excellent job by that young man, Bridges. And you want to talk about the, you know, the, the uh, Southside Panthers, some of their key players, Michael Shropshire Jr., the running back. He's been playing football since five years old. He's a fast, he's a, uh, he's a track runner. He loves to make big plays, and his track speed is, has been on display already today. Yes, it has. And he's going to need more of it, too. And this tough uh, Panther team, as they go for the sweep on the outside, and he tried to pass the block for over, uh, tackle her over, but... No such thing happening right there as Xavier Steele 
tried his uh, best on the on the right side, but excellent job by the left side of that defense of the Cobras. Now, you know what? The, the Cobras defense of the front did a good job that time by creating a stalemate at the line of scrimmage and allowing them fast linebackers to flow to the ball. And once again, Ray Mary Kirby, he was in there first one to flash. He held him up and everybody else came to clean it up for him. Yep. Good job by St. Crawford as well. Playing both sides of the football and showing how tough he is. And sometimes on defense, as a defensive lineman, it's not always about getting the sacks or the, or the tackles in the backfield. If you can hold up that offensive line and from get to the second level, it allows your linebackers to make plays. Just do your job. Just do your job. Pass on this play, man wide open, contested. Oh, oh almost caught it on the second try. As St. Crawford threw a very catchable pass, almost had his man Xavier Steele, even when he had two chances to catch the football. But a good job of defense right there by the Cobras. And that was a wide open, another wide open receiver. I'm not sure, you know, what your breakdown in coverage is, but that was a great job of the safety getting over there in time just to get a hand in there. He just got it in there to distract him. And on that play, that was number 10, Amarian Levitt with the pass breakup. So here we go. This is a big fourth down right here. Huge fourth down for the Panthers as they already lead six to nothing. And they're on the doorstep of the red zone of the Cobras. Fourth down. Panthers will take a timeout. I believe this is their first timeout of the ball game. Yeah, that's a smart one right there. That's a smart one. You know, all the energy you want, you want to take some of the take some of the, the energy out of this crowd. The crowd started getting to it. They're stomping. They're, they're yelling defense. The players are feeding off of that energy. So it was a, a great call by the offense of just calming everything down. They need two and a half yards, no three, three, three and a half yards for a first down. But it seems like the game plan offensively for the Southside Panthers, Jason, is uh, pretty much clicking on all cylinders. Right yeah, it's clicking on all cylinders right now. Like, so they got a quarterback who can, who can really get the ball out there. And it's the, you know, the task is for the Cobras is to make sure to have the receivers identified and covered. You know, they, they seem to keep losing these receivers out in coverage. You know, I don't know if they're, you know, they're blitzing them or if the kids are confused. But the Coach Dave Mitchell, defensive coordinator for the Cobras, he's got to get the secondary on the same, on the same page right now. Yeah, we talked about the, the Cobras. And we'll talk a little bit about the uh, the Panthers right after this. And this is fourth down, but 3.33 left to go in the first half. St. Crawford in the shotgun, just a bad receipt, throws it, incomplete. And that was a better job of defending that pass play right there. Yeah, it's like about four of them back there. Yeah, four, four, fourth and long. Uh, you know, they, they knew that they had to pass the ball. So they made the proper adjustment to make sure they had enough guys back there in coverage this time. So Collinwood will flip over the offense, taking over on downs. As you take a look at Crawford's attempt, looks like he's going for his main man, Xavier Steele, again, but back for the defense, for the, uh, for the Cobras, doing a good job right there was uh, Gabriel Thomas. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Yeah, they got the Panthers back on defense, and this is the Panthers' defense. It's only given up seven points all postseason. You know, that was last week to um, Pal Six, which was another pretty good peewee team in this division. So the Southside Panthers, their first year in Cleveland Mini Football. Coaches have been around for a little while on this staff. Uh, but this is their inaugural season. They're doing a fine job. Screen play set up very nicely. Good job by the Cobra. And it looked like, uh, Jason, they were going to get a lot more out of it than that. Yeah, and hey, that Xavier Steele led defense came down there and, and made plays in the open field. You know, they definitely, Cobra's definitely executed it well with blockers in front. You know, looked like it could have went for a lot more than what it did. You know, but that was a good job of getting off of the blocks and, and turning it back out inside and out. And that was number three. You know, number three, that was Xavier Steele who made that play. Yeah, Xavier Steele. Here us call his name on offense. Now you hear us call his name on defense, and it won't be the last time, folks. That's for sure. He's a fine, fine football player. Cobras, second down, and about six. Ball 
fake the handoff. Bridges keeps it and goes up the middle, picks up about three. Okay, that was a great play fake by the quarterback because he had me. My eyes were following the running back. Well, when I took a look at it, I noticed the stature of the player at quarterback. It wasn't Cogburn. Uh, then I saw that here out of the back of the helmet. I said, okay, that's Bridges. So Bridges, coaches want to get him involved in the, in, in, in the game right away with less, you know, with the minimizing the chance of a, of a fumble and able to pick up about three yards. So it'll be third down and short. About one, ball hits the ground. He's able to get it to the running back, and ooh, he slowed down. And I think I know why he slowed down, Jason. Yeah, he slowed down because he's seen that man coming, and that man is Aaron Carroll. Now, hey, Aaron Carroll, E-Prep, Village Prep, favorite player is Derrick Henry. He's a Browns fan. I wish we had sound on this. And, when, and he just came downhill, and he didn't come to be nice. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. As he let the hammer fly to bring down the running back as the sun shines on us on here at Collinwood Athletic Complex. Bridges still at quarterback under center. He gets the football and he gives it. Oh, Bridges did get the football. That was number five on the quarterback. I'm sorry. Bridges got the football. These numbers are hard to follow, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> they are. Jeez. So much swag in these uniforms. Yeah, that was number Can't seven, Kalani Bridges, on that last carry. And he had blockers out in front, but once again, this defense is so fast. And you get so much penetration right there in the running back's face. You know, the, the play was designed to go off tackle, but the running back had to try to stretch it because of the amount of penetration from the defense. Good fundamentals, good coaching, good job, guys. 103 left to go in the first half. Collinwood, excuse me, Collinwood Cobra zero and the Southside Panthers six. You know, during this time out, I want to talk about a couple other key players for the um, Southside Panthers. You know, and we, we've already caught his name a lot. Number three, running back in safety, Xavier Steele. You know, one description for Xavier is electrifying, electrifying. You know, he's top three in speed in the league. He won't get caught from behind. I <laughs> haven't seen it all year. Once he get out, get in the open field and get him shoulders parallel, you know, it's, it's a track meet and he's going to win that race. Uh, also, number zero, running back and um, right outside linebacker. He's the, the third complement to that running back monster back there, and that's Aaron Carroll. He's the tough, gritty back. He's the one that's getting the hard yards, running in between the tackles. He's downhill, strong but, um, t uh, back, and he rarely misses tackles on defense. Well, that's a good group that this organization has in this division. Again, 10 and 11 year olds, and they're tough ball players. And you can see the Panthers aren't bad either. They lay, they've been laying some wood on this drive as we get ready to close out this first half of the 2021 Pee Wee Division Muni Championship game between the Southside Seahawks, excuse me, Southside Panthers, who are up. Six to another, nothing over the Collinwood Cobras. So that turns and gives the Bridges. Bridges trying to fight, trying to squirm, but too many Panthers around. It looks like the ball, the ball came, out. came out. And Cobras jumped on top of it. The Cobras will keep it. And the Panthers are not happy about that at all. But they got field position, and they did a heck of a job on that series with 27 seconds left to go in the half. It looks like... You know, look, looking at it being, it's, it's 27 seconds right now, and that Panthers defensive front has been very aggressive, and I see why the coach called that screen pass earlier in this drive. Mm -hmm. You know, you might even want to consider, you know, safe play, but it's all, it also, also could be the potential of a big play. You know, play off the aggression out of that front, step a screen pass out there. Yeah, you're right. It, it, it was a very well executed screen play, at, you know, as well. They did a good job disciplining the linemen, uh, you know, flare it out to the left. They didn't get downfield early. Mm -hmm. Running back caught the ball, and it was a, it was a good looking play. Yeah, something nice and safe. The last thing you want to do with 27 seconds is turn the ball over and give them another opportunity. In the first matchup, they turned the ball over, and within three seconds, the Panthers was in the end zone, so they can strike that fast, John. Yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't take long at all for this talented group of ball players. I thought there was a, uh, a timeout on the field. But we'll see exactly what's going on. Yeah, we, we never got a signal for a timeout. You know, we had the, you know, had the ball hit the ground and both teams go jumping around. So now we got second down and he was man wide open. He catches the punt, runs the man over, but not able to get away from the rest of the defense of the Panthers as number two caught that pass. And we've been and calling his name a lot. Tight end, Ramir Gerby. You know, Ramir Gerby's been a big playmaker for him today on both sides of the ball. That was the biggest gain of the day there on that pass play. All right, now we have an off. Now we have a timeout by the offense. So now we finally, so now we finally have a timeout. My partner just said, and uh, we'll see what exactly what the Collarwood Cobras are going to dial up here to try to get on the board. See that collision right there with the big tight end Kirby and. Uh, and the defender of the Panthers. You know, right here, you got you got 10 seconds to go in the half, you know, first and 10, ball around a 43-yard line. You know, what, what player are you dialing up right now is, is going to get you 43 yards in the end zone? Tell you what, if, I, if, if, if they have it in their arsenal, I'm on the Cobras, I'm going to attack the middle of the field. I'm just going to throw a little tight end, a little dump pass. Uh, we'll fake it to the, to the to the running back, pull the linebackers in, and dump it right over the defensive line. Some high percentage, something safe. Coach is giving his plays. As you see him in his pink coat, you know, recognizing the awareness of cancer this month, as all organizations have done a fine job of doing, and has touched all of our lives at some point in our life very dearly and deeply. And that's, that's put, Coach Kobe Orr with the swag. Put the ball on the ground, but able to pick it back up. Good stiff arm, and now he's going to reverse field. And he's got some guys happening, but he's picking up some blockers. He's got a wall. He can get past this one and this one. Oh, he, he's he just ran, tired now. He, he ran out of gas, <laughs> He ran out of gas. He was just great, tired then. Great effort, great effort. And he definitely had a convoy of blockers out there. If he had a little bit left in him, he could have probably cut back into the middle of the field. It was hey, it was about six Cobras out there <laughs> to two Panthers. That was number two uh, tight end, I believe it was, on that play. Kirby, and they're not used to running that much, folks. I'm going to tell you that right now. His tongue is hanging out by his knee, believe me. <laughs> so that brings us to halftime here for the Pee Wee Championship game. The 2021 season where the Collinwood Cobras have not got on the scoreboard yet, but the Southside Panthers has a six to nothing lead. We'll be right back, right after this. Need food? We can help. The Greater Cleveland Food Bank's Benefits Outreach Department works within the community to help individuals locate food and apply for SNAP and other public benefits. Weekdays, our Help Center accepts phone calls from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and walk-ins from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 216-738-2067 or stop in our facility at 15500 South Waterloo Road. Our Benefits Outreach Counselors are out in the community every day assisting with benefit enrollment and connecting the community to vital resources. Keep your eye out for our food truck, providing free, fresh produce and SNAP enrollment in the community. For more information, visit www.greaterclevelandfoodbank.org slash get help. Slow down. Slow down and move over. And move over. When you see lights, vests, or reflectors, please give us some room. Slow down and move over. When you need us, we've got your back. Do you have ours? You got our back? You got ours? You got our back? Please, slow down. And move over. And welcome back.
back to Collinwood Athletic Complex here at halftime of the 2021 Pee Wee Championship football game in Cleveland Muni football. And we are joined by Michael Shropshire, Sr. Coach, good job in the first half. Hey, welcome back to Collinwood hey, Athletic Complex here at halftime uh, of the 2021 uh, fired up. Pee Wee Championship springy. football only game people, the only person Cleveland Muni football. And we are joined Absolutely. by Michael I think, you know, Shropshire, Sr. With the preparation and the week that we had of practice, Coach, going into this week, good we job added in the extra first day half. of practice this Thank week you. to get ready for this battle. Hey, you guys are looking you know, I think we're doing uh, an amazing uh, job, but just think we just got to go out there in the second people, half and continue to execute, to continue to block yourself. the way we block and continue Absolutely. to tackle the I way we tackle. You know, with the preparation we do that, in the week that we had, I think we'll come out on top. Going into this week, hey, we added an extra day of practice this week to get ready for this battle. Hey, you've been doing a good job of mixing it up with that three-headed monster. You've been doing an amazing job, but just got to go out there in the second half and continue to execute, continue to block the way we block and continue to tackle the way we tackle. How are you going to produce more you look like you had opportunities, I think we come out on top. but you left to have, hey, you know, Shrub Shire, Jason Dunn here. How are you going to get points in the next half? Doing half. great. Hey, yeah, you've been that, doing a good that, job that of mixing it up with that three-headed monster in the that backfield quarter, of, of Shrub Shire Jr., Xavier Steele, and Aaron Carroll. Coming out here in the second half, you know, how are you going to produce more points? It looked like you had opportunities, but you left to have, you know, with only six points. How are you going to get more points this next half? I think they're doing an amazing job. I think it's going to come out into the end of that second quarter. We didn't get in. I think we got down to maybe like that. I think we are all right. 18, yeah, 19 you yard doing line. Great job of mixing it up. Uh, your defensive you know, coordinator, Steele, he's doing and, you know, a real good job of, of making adjustments on the fly. That defensive so line has been aggressive. Job. Linebackers are filling holes. Um, Looked like the Cobras field, in that first half was real vanilla. And look like they got something that's still in the bag. You know, how are you yeah, guys going to stop doing this next Great job of mixing it up. Yeah, uh, You're the coordinator, Steele. He's doing a, a real good job of, of making adjustments on the fly. The out in the that defensive half. line has been aggressive. Like Linebackers are filling out, holes. Um, we look can like punch the Cobras in that first half was real vanilla. They got something chance. that's still in the bag. You know, how are you guys going to stop them this next half? Thank you. All right, Coach, good as luck as in the keep second half. Closing, and they come out and, uh, this drive in the second half. We got the ball coming out in the, in the second half. Uh, I feel like as long as we come out and game. take care of business, See we can punch end. it in the All end right. zone. I honestly right feel like we'll snatch the heart right out their chest. Michael Shropshire, senior. Thank you. All right, Again, Coach, a good luck in the second half. East High School, played uh, uni football for Powell. We hope to see you in the championship, uh, Circle. Coach. And we love that type of service. Five as a head coach. All right, All right now. And That's he played coach. at East Tech in 98. Michael Shropshire, senior. High notes in Again, high a 1998 graduate of East coach, High School. Good luck in played Muni football for Powell. Seven and 95, a 10-year coach. And we love that type so, of service. Five Collin as a head coach. Cobras. And he they're played no, at they're East not Tech in 98. Pressure in Glenville. as one of the high notes in the high praises of his career. Coach, good luck in the second half. They are. And, you know, the Southside Panthers, like I said, you got an experienced group of coaches over there. So the kids have been together Collinwood, for years, even though it's their first, Cobras, their first year in uni no, football. They're not new to this, this championship. Group of kids. These kids are not you know, new you know, to this type of atmosphere. Southside Panthers. Big game, big star step up. Like and, you know, you look at those they are. Uh, running back. And, you know, the Southside Panthers, like I said, you got to experience group of coaches over there. These kids have been together for years. They know what this game means. They know how important it is. This is an offensive line. These kids, you can see the sacrifice that the offensive line is out there making for them. These are willing big Stars step up. These kids are going to look at them out to make sure they're back to get, get through their clean. Which steel and uh, you know, Shrub Shire and Carroll, these you know, kids in 19, you know, they, they, they know what this game means. They know, they know how much, how here important it is. Here in 21, line, 14, you can see the sacrifice that the city championship of the 12 years of making for them. These are willing blockers playing for the city championship. They want to extra out to make sure that they're back to get through their clean. They know the moment. They know what it takes. They have an experienced group of guys in there. In 19, they're settled down. Coach Dave Morgan, here in 21, he's already talking to his head coach. He's talking to one city championship. Kobe Moore, and they have you know, they're going to have the kids ready. They're going to have an exciting you know, finish the second so, half. So, you know, they, they know the moment. They know what it takes. Well. They have an experienced uh, group of guys Jason, over there. Yeah, they'll take settle a look down. At the Coach Dave Morgan, he'll rally his troops up. He's already talking to his head coach. He's talking to his office coordinator, Kobe Orr. And, you know, they're going to have the kids ready. We're going to have an exciting finish the second half. The I impact you uh, bear can be true as well. The George Monroe, uh, all Jay stars. The West Side Take a look at the Collinwood Cobras. They, they elite some of those. They were number the one in the national Jack division. Wires. South uh, Side teams Panthers finished with a seven division. and one. Record this the, season, uh, scoring 194 points. The impact of youth first and only allowing the George Monroe All-Stars. The West Side Wolverines. Uh, uh, ranked that defense. The Ohio elite Seminole, the Collinwood Cobras. And the Emoja. Uh, Jack Division. Southside South Panthers Seahawks. finished with a 7 and 1 record this season. The Renegades. 194 points. That's CMHA that ranked them first East and only allowed 47 slotting. points. Village Bears. Uh, uh, ranked that Collinwood defense. Collinwood Cobras in the, the season one for the Collinwood Cobras. 
along in with their playoff, division, along with South playoff, South Seahawks, scoring 227 times. Points. The Renegades, uh, ranked that first CMHA Renegades, the Renegades, East 88th Street on Browns their side in the of the, uh, of the division. Bears. Points allowed. The Colorado Cobras ended the season with a 7 and 1 record first on their along side with of the division. Playoffs, along with the playoffs. So, the cream has risen to the top. Points today uh, to meet in this championship offense, game. And now the, uh, we are going to be joined. Points allowed 19 by and the Colts. That leaves them first uh, on their side of the division as the well. So Cobras. The cream has risen to the Coach, top. You ready to go? Yes, sir. Today All right. to meet Coach in this championship game. Oh, and Coach now I'm we sorry, are going Coach to be joined I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. by My fault, the coach. Hey, coach, uh, congratulations on reaching the game. The Collinwood Thank Cobras. You. And coach, you coach, ready to go? First yes, half on offense. All right, Coach what Christopher Adams. What are you looking Adams? forward to right in the show? Coach, coach, coach. Day, right I'm now, sorry, gotta Coach Day. To I'm sorry. Got to get a whole <laughs> lot tougher this half. My fault. Hey, Coach. Toughness is the key. Congratulations yes, on reaching the game. All right. Thank Jason. you. Hey, and Coach Dave, Jason Dunn tough, here. Tough, first yeah, half hey, on offense. Hey, I'm, I'm noticing something right there at the line of scrimmage. You know, um, offensively right for now, you guys, the defense is getting way get too, too much penetration. Every time your quarterback drops back, he's got bodies Toughness in his face. Key, huh? Running yes, backs sir. are running off path right. due to the penetration. Jason? Hey, How Coach Dave, Jason Dunn here. Hey, I'm noticing something right there at the line of scrimmage. You know, offensively for you guys, the defense is getting way too much penetration. Every time your quarterback drops back, he's got bodies in his face. Running backs are running all game path about due it. to just the penetration. Transfer, How do you guys I'm fix that to put in the second half? Field. Hey, Man, defensively, you guys did a great job. You, you held your own six points. You know, that's a high just octane offense. You know, they want to go inside out. They want to try to get those you know, electrifying, trust me, you know, running backs out there in open space. You know, they're going to be looking to try to mix it up this half. Have you guys made any adjustments or talked about defensively? You guys did a great job. You held your own six points. You know, that's a high octane offense. You know, they want to go inside out. They want to try to get those electrifying. You know, Keep our running backs out there in open space. Where they're going you know, and they're going to be looking to try it. to mix it up this half. Well, hey, hey, great How job. Guys and good adjustments luck in the second half, defense. coach. And we'll yes, see you we in the winner's circle. Have right, talked talk about defense. Pretty much we're just going to stay and there we have coach being David aggressive, Morgan, attacking our gaps, and doing everything we got to do to stop those plays. We've just got to keep our eyes focused on that ball and seeing where they're going and attacking it as soon as we see it. Along with helping him out as Kobe Orr. Hey, great job. And good luck in the second half, coach. And we'll see you in the winner's circle. Thank you. Defensive coordinator. Uh, they and got then we have Coach here. David Morgan. Have, I apologize. They do. They, they have to find some kind of way to generate coach. points. You know, they, they did a good the job. Because you know, this could uh, easily be. Along with helping him out with Kobe Orr. And, and like I said, the defense offense, has been bent. But don't break. And Dave but it's, Mitchell, only, it's only uh, so much you can do, you know, as uh, they a defense. They got a tough task here in the second half. They got a tough task here in the second half. They have to find some kind of way to generate points. Yeah, on offense, I think that one of the things can help him is just to run the play that the offense feels most comfortable with. And like I said, the defense has been bent, but don't break. But it's Seems only like it's only so much you can do, you know, as a defense when you're going up against a monster of an offense the like the South Side Defense Panthers. to the point where they're handing the yeah, ball off. Yeah, offense, I think two, that one of the things times. can help him is just to and run the play that the people put the ball field the most comfortable with, where they can secure the football. Yeah, you, you definitely go in the like second half. You definitely want to take care of the ball. I'm going to look at some of the first half stats here. I think the you know for the South Side Panthers, they collected five first downs in the first half compared to just two in the Cowboys. You know, they want to have some kind of success this half, they're going to have to get more than two first yeah, downs. You, you definitely going to second half, you definitely want to take care of the ball. No three and I'm going to look at some of the first um, half you know, stats here. South Side Panthers have four um, pass you know, South Side Panthers, uh, you know, they collected um, five first half. downs. Uh, the first half, two penalties, to two South Side Panthers to three of them. They want to have some so success this half. They're going to have to get more than two first downs. Not a lot of penalties. You know, no someone hit drive, no three and outs. And you're going to have to, you know, do the same thing in the second half attempts in order to have success in the first half. Right now, this game, they have two penalties. South Side Panthers. Panthers to three will of the take over. So it was a pretty cleanly on play offense, first half by both teams. Not a lot of penalties. You know, no bone in the middle mistakes. Leading six to nothing and against the Hollywood Cobras. You're going to have to, you know, do the same thing in the second half here in this Pee Wee Division Championship you know, Series as of right in now, Cleveland Muni Football. They start the ball off so on the, the ground. Southside Panthers will take over. A little speedster, and he is on offense. squirting up field pretty good as he gets to midfield. Leading six to nothing against the Cobras. right there, I believe it's by Bridges. Here in this Pee Wee Division uh, Championship Series you know, with Cleveland like, Uni Football. They like start the ball off on the ground. On with a little see, this speedster, is the speedy, this is the speedy Michael Schrock strike. Squirting up field pretty good you know, if he gets to midfield. I think he only had one carry in the first brought half. Brought down right there, I believe it's by Bridges. And they start off the second half by getting him the ball out there on the jet sweep. Uh, and that was Cogburn. You know, it looked like 
look for it no matter what. Santana play. Cockburn on that tackle. Good you see, this is the speedy, Cockburn, this is the speedy Michael Shrub show we talked about. You know, all game, I think he only had one carry in the first half, which was a big run. The and they start off the second half by getting the ball out there on the jet sweep. And that was Cockburn. Number 11. Forcing him out of bounds that play. So good job by Kyle the Pan, but not before he was able to pick up enough for a first right down that and knock it on the door. Here on. A Colby territory as the that, ball that, placed you know, on the 50 yard line. Field. Double and fake, that, that's the power the runner. That's the in between tackle 11. runner. And once again, his favorite running back the, is Derrick Henry. And I can see why there's a lot of similarities in his style. And that right there on that carry, that was number zero, Aaron Carroll. And that's the third compliment in that, that you know, that's a loaded five. backfield. And that, that's the power Post runner. That's the in-between tackle runner. Quarterback and once again, his favorite running back is Derrick Henry. Henry gives to the and I can back. see why. There's a lot of similarities Full in his style. Gets about two or three tough yards in the middle. Got second down and, and that five. Carry, that was another one to number zero, Close Aaron Carroll. You know, in this, this formation, he lined up at fullback. So they, they're mixing, Turns, they're mixing the formation the and these linemen. I mean, these running backs up. Fullback. Colbert's about two or three tough yards in the middle. Is in that backfield. And that and carry, that was another one to enough. number zero, Aaron Carroll. You, you know, in this, this formation, he lined up at fullback. So they, they're mixing, they're Saint mixing the formation Crawford. of these linemen. I mean, these running backs up. Center turns and gives to the second man through. Colbert's and that'll be number three. Keep an eye on what personnel is in that backfield. Aaron Carroll. If they can decide for it quick enough. You almost know who's going to get the football. Led the way through that hole. Yeah, he had a great push right there. And you know, they did something. They run in between the tackles. Through. And that'll Normally, be number Steel three. Steele is an outside back. Steel, this time he ran Aaron him right Carroll, between those tackles. And he, and hey, he took stroke, those covers for a ride. Yeah, he did. And he led on that tackle with number that 21, hole. Volante McCoy. Yeah. He, had, he had a great Steel push right there. And, 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 you know, they did something. They run in between the tackles. Normally, Steel is an outside back. But this time he ran him right between those tackles. And he, hey, he took those covers for a ride there. He on that tackle with number 21, Volante McCoy. He likes on Steals that left side to the than middle. Looks. And they're just so trying to wear it out. Hey, this opening that was drive right in the second half looks a, a lot like the opening time, drive yeah, in the first half for their first possession of the first and, half. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, he took with the defense game, ran Panthers, between the tackles, flat outside. See something you know, he likes on that left side to the middle. And they're just trying to wear it out. Hey, this opening drive of the second half looks a lot like the opening drive of the first half or their first possession of the first half. You know, he took with the defense game, ran in between the tackles, flat outside. But he was just all about Getting the pushed the up front and just moving the them the chains. Second down is Gibbs. Three yards to go. Opening lead is going to be a pick up on first down. Five twenty three to go in the kill. third quarter. Panthers leading six to nothing. They have the ball. Right They're right knocking the on defense. the door of the red zone. Of the Collinwood Colts. See right here, Jason. Just, Saint turns. Just Gibbs. a simple play. Iso. Right up the middle. Leaders will be a pick up on first down. Xavier Steele on the yeah. carry. They laid a little bit to the outside and took advantage. And that was a good stop. Yeah, that was a great job by Justin Bridges of uh, fighting off the block and scraping Routine down right the line of scrimmage Jason, to make that just, tackle. Just a simple. I've seen a lot play. of good fundamentals ISO. out here. Today. Right up the middle. It's, it's really Trying good to, to see the fullback. These guys yeah. are being yeah. coached up well to the outside and took advantage during this championship game. That was a great job by Justin Bridges of fighting off the block and scraping down the line of scrimmage to make that tackle. He just pushed. They just pushed him. Seen a lot of good fundamentals out here today. It's, it's really good help to from see that backfield. That. These guys and are being enough coached first up down. well, and it's no surprise that they're in this championship game. That definitely was enough right there. And that was a smart play call to, you know, save conventional, you know, hey, I'm going to put the ball in the quarterback's hands. We're just going to go straight ahead. Well. They need one yard. And a little help from that backfield. Crawford and enough for first down. And Carroll. That definitely was coach. enough right there. And that was a smart play call to, you know, save conventional, you know, hey, I'm going to put the ball in the quarterback's hands. We're just going to go straight ahead. We only need one yard. <laughs> you see that Terman for official timeout. And Carroll talking to the coach. And they still, number one, Terman still got his arms out wide, wondering what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> You guys should know they can't Fish get away time with out. Any, uh, anything as far as penalties. We got four referees on this team. Make sure the ball turns. Give Carroll place picks up about two. Probably two and a half. 
These guys should know they can't get away down with any, uh, anything as far as penalties. Yeah, so that was a good stop right there by the defense. You know, leading the charge from the Texans. Number 99, King Carroll. Carroll covers. Picks up a foul. You know, just like Dave, you know, Coach Dave Morgan alluded to, these guys have to get nastier up front. They got to get meaner. They got to use their nails. You know, at this point, you have, you have to, that was a good stop right there by the defense. Right. You know, you know, down six the times, the clicks, number 99, King Morgan. And they're driving on those. You know, they're imposing their will. You know, so, just like you know, Dave, you got to go up there and play. These Pitch guys have to get nastier up front. They got to get meaner. They got to use their hands. You know, at this point, you have, you have to have a sense of urgency. You know, so down six times, click, and it's ticking. And they're driving on us. You know, they're imposing their will. So, you know, we, we got to grow up on this drive and we got to make a play. Well, good job of stringing it out. Good cut by Steele. Two good cuts. Wow, is he a top? Fundamentally, it looked like Kirby the defense did their job, but once he cut it back inside, it was a totally different story. John, you, you can't coach that, man. You can't coach that. The defense <laughs> absolutely did a job. Good job bringing it out. Good cut Kirby by out there, they strung the play out. They're fighting. Wow, if he they forced him back inside, which the defense is talking to do. Fundamentally, it looked like the defense did their job, but once he cut it shaking, back inside, you know, it's hard to stop him. A totally different story. John, you, you can't coach stop. that, man. You can't coach that. The defense absolutely did a job. You got Kirby out there, they strung the play out. They're fighting. They he forced him back inside, which the defense is taught to do. They got away. But he's just wiggling, he's dancing, he's shaking. Goal. You know, it's hard to stop him. Panthers and Steel is a, is a tough one to stop. The end zone. There's just a whole host of Collinwood Cobras right I was telling you, somebody was stinging. Pick somebody was biting. Maybe a half a yard. It was slippery. It was slippery. Second the down. Mouse, they got away. Goal. So first and goal. Six, so the Panthers. Seven in the brain. And two new defensive tackles. Knocking on the end zone. Second to the game right now. It's number 20. Christian Dawson, number 31. Britton Benjamin. Pick up of about maybe a half a yard. Awesome Second man. down and go. Right. Yeah, See if they can help him out. Assist. Hey, hey, fresh so bodies down here. It's been a long drive. Tackles. Two uh, minutes to go in the game in right this now. quarter. 20, Christian Dawson, number 31. Entire half Britton so Benjamin. The Panthers opened up with 20. the football. And they have awesome been imposing their will right. with this long, yeah, See if they can help him out. Hey, hey, fresh bodies down here. It's been a long drive. Two minutes to go in this quarter. Saint, they've had the ball the center. entire half so far. High four Panthers turned up with the football. Fakes it to the second round. He's going to keep it. He's running like a team at will. Bridges long, misses a tackle. Drive. And there they go to clean up. There Great it is. Job. Okay. Jump turned inside. And the rest of the defense came over to Saint, finish him off. That's what High we call game tackling turns, right there. Fakes it to the second round. He's going you know, to keep and, it. And He's right running away, like right keep away. it. Bridges Number misses a tackle. Doss. You know, and there they go back to the other He actually okay. forced the running back outside. Inside, and then the play was forced the back inside. The defense and came all over the was there. They were ready for him. They started That's swarming. They called gang tackling right there. Cleaning it up was number 21, Volante you know, McCoy. And right away, right Good away. McCoy, number 20, Christian Doss. You know, he, he's in the Turning backfield. Inside, he's he actually make forced the running back outside. And the play was forced back inside. And all the culprits were there. They were ready for him. They started swarming. Third and goal. And cleaning it up was Saint number 21, Volante Crawford, McCord. The third, under the center. Good job by McCord. Mm -hmm. Good job by Bridges. Turns and turns and the cuff and it goes to the, the, to the jet sweep down. Yeah, man. Uh, Stroke the uh, tire. Oh, and he's for the first kill. Folks, he's going to score. Oh, third and goal. Wow. What a play. Saint Crawford. What a third. Under the center. By the young man, Mike turns rope shot. Takes the toss and it goes to the excellent to job. Jets reading the defense and reading the block oh, tire. And oh, he's the first one to take it to the whole field. field. Oh, wow. Oh, what a play. And <laughs> hey, he went under what center. No two got play. anything. He said, by the young man, this man Michael Strope Shire. Good job of a ball oh, fake right there. Excellent job of reading the defense and reading his blocker. Just not get him down right there. And I guess he wanted to take it to the whole field as well. On the left side. Because he comes back around and picks up a fence blocker. And he went under center. And, no uh, tour got anything. He said, Tampa baby, let me take this as trip. He, as he came strolling by. Good job. Of, Good job, ball young man. Right there Keep underneath the handle. Just could not Maybe get him down proud. right there. He sure. just juked everybody out well. on the left side. As Carol Comes back around, takes picks up offensive blockers. For and, the uh, extra point. Yeah, the wheel was kind of taken out of the defense when that run by Strop Shire. Because there was absolutely Good no job, effort on that man. extra point there. Key player, you Michael know, right there, Aaron Carroll just walked into the end zone. I'm sure, and your team as well. As Carroll so we takes the ball in the end zone this third quarter, for 30 the extra seconds point. Remaining. Yeah, the wheel was kind of taken out of the defense on that run by Strop Shire. Because there was absolutely no effort on that extra point there. Show their efforts and their efforts paid off for him with a touchdown by a great electrifying run. 
by well, Michael we count down to the third quarter, 30 to increase seconds the lead remaining. To 13 to nothing. The Southside seat of Panthers. This Pee Wee division has been tough all season. Show their efforts this game and their efforts tough. paid off for them with a the touchdown. Just can't seem to get the offense together to get on the scoreboard. By Michael and that's spilled bad news against the talented team. To increase the lead like to 13 to nothing. Is. You know, and it is hard when you got you, you actually had the, the defense on the field season. for a total this game of seven minutes and thirty seconds. The Cobras just can't uh, seem to, to get the half. offense you know, together to get on the scoreboard. Uh, and that's you know, they didn't even have the gas, the you know, enough team, gas to even stop the like extra this point. Panthers team. So is. you wonder what you the know, conditions are like when you got this late in the you season. You had the, the now defense turn around the field offense, for a total and of four seven minutes and thirty seconds uh, this is to open that half. You know, a lot of these kids go both ways. You know, they didn't even have the gas, you know, enough gas to stop the extra point. So you wonder what the conditions that is like this late in the season. So now have to turn around the offense. And now you're forced to try to get points. The Cobra team can pull together. But this is what they're right here in right now. This is what looks like they might have gotten more out of it. But good time to play when you're in the lead or it's a close game. But when you're behind, I'm going to take even more carries the ball out past the four-yard line. If this Cobra team can pull together, it's a good-looking play right here. They thought I'm definitely needed. Counter looks like they might have gotten more out of it. But good effort right there. Good Belante the quarterback. Uh, number Cogburn, 21 carries the ball out past the 40 yard line. Four. That brings up a second uh, down, Cobras. about four. Yes, you know, something yeah, a play called up definitely needed play right there to counter that. the aggression of that defensive Little, line and that defense. Like a wide receiver screen. A good throw and a good catch. Yeah, that was, and that was a great job because uh, the receiver Cogburn, had, or the running back had to adjust himself to catch that ball. So. That brings yeah, up a second catch. down, about four. A good job. Yeah, a good productive play right there on that. Little, I would say like a wide receiver start there. Yeah, that was, and that was a great job because the receiver had to, or the running back had to adjust so, himself like a wow. to catch that right ball. There. That was so, a direct yeah, snap to number 21, Belante mm -hmm. McCool at that time. Good job by Cogburn to get it out. Coach is very sophisticated, and folks, you know, these football oh, players, they there. are smart. You got to get up got field. one at home, and he tells you he can't. He so, can't. Sort of like a wildcat okay. right there. That he was can't. a direct snap to number Just 21. Stay on. Mm -hmm. Give some positive that time. influence, but hey, stay on. These coaches are very sophisticated. Because these guys are very coach. smart. They make you know, these big football big players. Decisions. They are smart. And they know how to control their one emotions. at home, and he tells and you he can't. He can't. Especially when they okay. want to win. They don't he want to let their teammates down. Just they don't want to let their coaches down. Give them some positive the influence. They don't want to let this themselves Because these guys are very it's smart. They make, they make see, split decisions. And, decisions as these and guys they know how to control their emotions and their feelings. Uh, the Especially when they want to win. They don't want to let their teammates uh, down. They don't want to let their coaches down. They don't want to let their coaches down. They don't want to let their coaches down. They don't want to let their that they have to make a beautiful order thing to see to is sure and grow uh, as these guys uh, get older you know, you start know, to approach the, last thing you uh, the do high school level the kids. they don't want to let themselves about, down uh, you know, they don't, they don't want to let their, their parents down their teammates and because at they this level the you know, they're looking to impress that they you know, have and, to and all the kids are sponges to be a significant uh, member of their football teams while the coaches take this time out the kids they don't want to let themselves down they don't want to let their parents down their teammates and at this level, you know, they're looking to impress, you know, and, and all the kids are sponges. Need food? We can help. The, coaches, the Greater uh, Cleveland Food Bank Benefits Outreach Department Let's works within the community break, we'll right to help back. individuals locate food and apply for SNAP and other public benefits. Weekdays, our help center accepts phone calls from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and walk-ins from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 216-738 2067 or stop in our facility at 15500 South Waterloo Road. Our benefits outreach counselors are out in the community every day assisting with benefit enrollment and connecting the community to vital resources. Keep your eye out for our food truck, providing free, fresh produce and SNAP enrollment in the community. For more information, visit www.greaterclevelandfoodbank.org slash get help. Slow down. Slow down and move over. And move over. When you see lights, vests, or reflectors, please give us some room. Slow down and move over. When you need us, we've got your back. Do you have ours? You got our back? You got ours? You got our back? Please, slow down. And move over. as we open up the fourth quarter. And there's a pass to the receiver right through his hands. 
Didn't seem like it was thrown too hard. Just took his eyes off the ball at the last minute, and out intended receiver was Bridges. And Kalani, I'm sure nobody's more disappointed than himself. Yeah, and that was, that was just a case of, you know, trying to move before the ball was possessed. He had his eyes downfield, and he had, he had some room in front of him. Yes, he did. Yes, you he know, did. You know, not, not, not a bad play call. It was third down and one. Um, so now you still got a fourth and one, so it's still, you know, a convertible down. I tell you what, I know exactly how Bridges felt. I've, I've dropped some of those in my day, just listening to the footsteps of that defender coming toward me, and he just always seems so much bigger and heavier. And it's <laughs> because I'm waiting on the ball, and this dude is barreling down on me. But next time, I'm sure he'll catch it. Quarterback keeper, strides the left side, trying to get as much as he can. Wildcat, as they call it. Direct snap to the running back, and he picks up the first down. That was number 21, Volante McCord. He's a tough inside runner. He fights for those tough yards. So you good know. job by McCord. He, he did just here. enough, a direct snap. He's seen the edge, and all he needed was a yard. And he actually went out there and got him a few more. He broke about three tackles on that run. He, he, he was running like he knew what he had to do to keep his team uh, in this ball game. Cobras, I, we can't tell you how important it is for them to score on this drive right here. You know, football is a game of momentum. They can gain the momentum right here. It's a different ball game. Student body to the left. He's picking his way through. It's like, oh, it's like he had a lane. But he's holding on to that football, and he's getting positive yards. Good job right there by number five. Key player, Jamarvion Pippen. Let's take a look at it again here, Jason. Yeah, Jamarion, it was just direct snaps. He got three blockers out there in front. The offense said, hey, we're going to outflank the defense, and we're going to take the edge and get what we can get. And the rest was on the running back. He danced a little bit. He stayed in bounds. Picked up an additional four yards. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Cobra let's snap go. it right to, the, right to the quarterback again, go, and they pick up go. positive yards. They just pushing hey. forward, just muscling that way. Wow, hey, this is the sense of urgency you need right here in the fourth quarter. Second down, two yards to go. Clock ticket, seven minutes, a little more than seven minutes left to go in the ball game. Coaching staff, fans, understanding the situation that the Cobras are in. They need a score on this drive. Quarterback gets the signals from his head coach. He gets the football. Cogburn goes out to the left, stringing it along. He's making guys miss, and not that one. Uh, uh, great open field tackle. That's number seven right there, Michael Shropshire Jr. with a great open field tackle. That right there prevented a big game. Yeah, Shropshire did prevent a big game there. As you saw, Cogburn was picking his way down the field. Excuse me, Pippen picking his way down the field. Yeah, whoop. He got that little juke inside, step out, and he wasn't having it. Shropshire was not having it. He wasn't sold on it. From one key play to the other. You know, big players make big plays and big games. And that's exactly what we saw right there. So we have third down and about a yard. And he's going to throw the football. And he's got a man open and now it got crowded. And now it's incomplete. And now we're looking at fourth down. John, you, you had two receivers in the same spot. I'm going to take a while. I guess say someone ran the wrong route. I think so. I think you're right. Well, and when the quarterback saw that, he probably could have looked another place and saw somebody wide open. But doing, doing what he was coached to do, getting the ball, trying to get it to his playmaker, I believe they were trying to hit Bridges on that. And it looked like number two was over there as well, Kirby. Two fine receivers, but there's only one ball. Uh, big fourth down here. This is another fourth and short. You know, if you look on the, on, on the, you know, on the last two possessions, They've thrown the ball on third down, third and short. You know, trying to get the big play. So right here, we got a fourth down and short. It looks like they're not going to try anything in the middle. Cogburn, if he's the quarterback, is in the shotgun. Slot goes over to the left. He's trying to throw the football. No time to throw at all. Great job by that defensive line of the Panthers. 
barreling down on Cogburn. He had time to do nothing, Jason. Nothing at all. And, you know, we talked about that at the half with the coach. The minute the quarterback drops back, he's got hands in his face immediately. So now he's got to bring the ball down. Now he's back there dancing and, you know, just left him out to the wolves. Nothing going at all. And that was a great job by the Panthers' defense. That might have been Bridges, that uh, quarterback. You know, I, I, yeah, I kind of I question the play call. It's just fourth down is short. Uh, you know, you, you got you got running backs who can get you a tough two yards. And, you know, two, two consecutive downs, put the ball in the air. And I also believe in giving, the, giving, that, giving that play to the offensive line, too. Yeah. It just sets a tone and an attitude. It gives them the, 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 uh, the complex that they can do anything when they get those short yardages and convert them into first down on those short yardage plays. Yeah, and, it, and it's a confidence factor. It gives the offensive line a lot of confidence. You know, when you, as a lineman, when you, when you see the chains moving, when you see that signal from referee first down, you know that you did something. That's a sense of accomplishment. That's and right. you, you want the kids to have that feeling. So, you know, mm -hmm. put, put the game in their hands. And that's when you, you break the huddle and you see that defensive lineman with both hands on his hip, breathing hard. And you say to yourself, I got him now. Let's go, coach. Let's go. So the uh, Panthers will be back on defense, um, on offense. Turns, gives to the up back, full back, picks up a quick five or six yards. They've been having success on that play all day, Jason. They've been running it with a lot of success, and that's number zero, Aaron Carroll. We've called his name a lot today. You know, that's, that's, that's the, the hard yardage back right there. Yeah, I got to admit, I like the way the Panthers keep you balanced with the talent that they have in the backfield. Uh, they seem to know exactly what these guys can do. Uh, and the players know their roles. You know, and the play calling is to the kids, you know, to the kids' strength. Mm -hmm. You know, each one of them, you know, the, the, the shifty backs, you get them out there in space. And some of the moves that these kids made today, you just can't coach it. You know, it's instinct, it's vision. They got it. Yeah, they got that, full, that high football IQ, that's for sure. Quarterback again, gives the ball to the up back. Right over, the, right over that left guard where he picked up another three or four yards, and that's a recipe for success as we now we're looking at a third and third and two. You know, and that's that's number zero, Aaron Carroll again. You want to you want to get yourself into third and manageable downs where you can pick up these first downs and keep the chain moving. You know, 4:49 and ticking in this fourth quarter. You know, I, I know Coach Shropshire is staring up at that clock right now. He wanna he wanna let, keep it ticking down, keep it ticking down with a 13 point lead. I think Aaron Carroll is going to have a good night's sleep tonight. Yes, he is. <laughs> Third and two. Panthers leading the ball game. 13 to nothing. 420 and counting in the ball game. Smoke. Cobras stacking the line of scrimmage, looking for a short play. Short yard play. They give the ball to number three. That's young blood. As he squirts out over the middle, but bounced it to the right side. Oh, no, able to convert correction, first down. Yeah, correction, Xavier Steele on that carry. Oh, excuse me, Xavier Steele. How could I forget that man? You know, and Steele, this is, this is the most I've seen him running in between the tackles. I did not know that he was this effective or this good running in between the tackles. He's been known for his speed and outside running. So he's definitely showed a different element and grown, and grown a lot today. Well, Xavier Steele. As I said at the top of the telecast, there's a familiar name in Muni football from his works on the junior level and carrying that on here in the Pee Wee division. And good job right there, right away. Good stop with the, in the big middle. fella, 24, 28 it is. Good job by him. Yeah, and that was, that was number 28, Kingston Henderson. That was a great shot, great stop at the point of contact right there, right at the line of scrimmage. Didn't let him get anything. They actually lost a, they actually lost a yard on that down. You know, sixth grader at St. John, showing, showing you what he, what he's working with today. You know, yeah, Kingston is a Packers fan. Favorite player is Devontae Adams. And Kinkridge is one of those high honor students we have. He excels in the classroom as well. I wonder uh, where that came from. Packers, Devontae Adams? Jeez. Maybe he's got family up there. As the Panthers on second down tried to go off tackle to the left. And 
There's Aaron Carroll again on the carry, but not for much. You know, and now we got a timeout by the Cobras. As it is third down, it's going to be a long, long nine. You know, I can say both teams have, have come out here and really fought hard. The Cobras, you know, back's been against the wall ever since the first drive. You know, they, they've had some opportunities and they, they've fought, but it's, it's hard. You know, it's hard trying to stop an a offense. You know, that, that's so balanced and with so much talent like these Panthers have. Yeah. It is, it is, it is. And while we have a, a short break in the ball game during this time out, I want to uh, let everybody know in the Muni community that we lost two great contributors and two great people in our league this year. Jip Walker, pal six, and our former president, leader, mentor, uh, Joe Wise. Yes, both both of those men were were very 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 instrumental in, in the growth of this league. Um, you know, was, was great in the community, well known, well known. And I'm talking about you know these guys were respected everywhere they went. Uh, you know, they had a following. You know, they had volunteers that would do anything for them. Um, so these guys definitely left their mark on the Cleveland Community Football League, and their legacy will live on. Yes, it will. There's Steele again, running for daylight, doing a good job of it. He's feeling it. And dropping the shoulder on the sideline, letting the defender know that I can ditch out punishment as well. That was a huge third down conversion with the clock ticking down. Under three minutes to go in the ball game. As they were able to convert a third and long into a first down and go into the territory of the Collinwood Cobras. Cobras, defense, just, just don't have the momentum right now. Don't have the, the excitement that they had earlier in the game. No, they don't. And, and if, if anything, you want to, you still want to try to prevent them from getting in the end zone. You know, at this point, you'll take a moral victory. You know, you take something positive to the offseason. But you want to, you, you want to stop this drive right here with no points. Very fine season by the Cobras this year. As direct snap to Carroll again. And he's just running wild. I'm All the way into the end zone for a touchdown. And he had some escorts out there in front of him, too, who was moving bodies. It's a good job by the entire offensive unit to put an exclamation point on this ball game. And now the score is 19 to nothing. So the Southside Seahawks got the ball back on down from the Collinwood Cobras who could not convert on the fourth down as they tried a, a pass on fourth and short. And the, uh, and the Southside Panthers were able to suck up all the clock and punch it into the end zone in this fourth quarter. Yes, it was. You know, I got some shout outs to give right now. I want to give a shout out to Jalen Peters, a shout out to Ernest Dowdale, a shout out to Frederick Ward, a shout out to Amir Jacobs, a shout out to Justin Donaldson, and a shout out to Bryce Terman. That offensive line from the South Sad Panthers today, you guys are the MVPs. Here, 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 here. Being able to give uh, St. Aaron and Michael, Xavier, Cordell and Jalen, uh, excuse me, Cordell, all the options in the coach's playbook to do whatever he wanted to do in order to secure this victory. And your first championship uh, parents, and it looks like uh, you guys are going to go home with it. But a fine season by the Cobras this year, and they have a very bright future. A very bright future. And once again, a, t a team that, that's knocking on the door year in and year out. And, you know, at, at some point, you just have to find a way to win these ball games. Uh, you know, you get to the big game. Um, you know, and it's a great experience for the kids. It's a long season. But now it's time to, to bring it full circle and find a way to, you know, to get a victory, you know, in, in the championship series. But the Cobras, you know, it's a, it's a great run program. Coach Darnell Bank, he pours a lot of time into, you know, into that program. He's got a great group of coaches, volunteers, parents. So, you know, they, they'll definitely, they'll, they'll definitely be back. This is the program, you know, you'll see year in and year out, you know, competing or, or knocking on the doorsteps of a championship run. But one of the things we notice in our years of 
uh, administering, administrating these uh, organizations and these teams. The teams that do it right are the teams you normally see in these championship games. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it starts, you know, and, and it starts, you know, now in the springtime with, you know, with, with flag football, getting the kids out there early. You know, and after this, you know, the, you know, the teams, they'll, you know, they'll have a banquet, they'll bring everybody in, they'll celebrate, they'll have a good time, they'll go into the off season, you know, they'll have their time of reflection, mm -hmm. and then it's back to work. This is a program that operates year round. So they have basketball, they have baseball, they have flag football, you know, uh, they're incorporating rookie tackle. So this is the program that doesn't sleep. Well, and, that, and, that, and that's great because the community really needs it. Uh, their participants really need it. The parents really need it. And this is what we'd like to see all of our organizations uh, be involved in. Uh, in the future, we're going to be act, adding uh, stringent academics uh, to, to, to the Cleveland Mini Football to, to help support the uh, kids and the community, uh, the parents, and helping in the classroom, uh, those critical thinking skills, uh, so our young men and our young ladies can keep moving forward to be contributing citizens in, in the city of Cleveland, the state of Ohio, and, the sta and, and in the United States absolutely. of America and around the world. Oh, absolutely. And, and I'm looking forward to the growth of the South Side Panthers in Muni football. You know, as you mentioned, this was year one for them, and they had a lot of success in year one. Uh, you know, and they have, like I said, experienced coaches, experienced team moms. They have a, a, a good following, and I'm looking forward to, you know, to, to doing more with them. The future is very bright for them, uh, you know, bringing in more teams, adding more activities for the kids. And, you know, they'll, they'll, they're, gonna, they're gonna be a household name, and they're gonna be around for a while. My, 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 my big question is, what name will we be using for them as a household name? <laughs> will it be Southside Seahawks <laughs> next South year? <laughs> Southside Seahawks next year? Oh, excuse me, Southside South Panthers. Panthers. We have two South Sides in the in the league, folks, and I'm sorry. Seahawks has just kind of been, I guess, a little bit on my mind at times today. But these are the Panthers, and they're an extension. They're they're a uh, uh, you know a sibling of the Glenville Panthers, should we say? Yes, yes. So that's why I'm questioning their name next year. But we'll see. Those guys are pretty creative, but they are dedicated to the community. And congratulations to the Glenville South Side. Panthers, Titans, everything, but we will give it to the Southside Panthers for today. And their coach, Michael Shopshire Sr., and a great job by him and the coaching staff in this Pee Wee division. Way to go, Shropshire. You're now a champ in uni football. Collinwood Cobras had a great season this year as well. Unfortunately, they come up short today. But they will be back in the future, folks. You better believe that. They have that kind of stick to itiveness and that kind of leadership in their program. So for right now, let's take a look at the teams as they do the sportsmanlike thing and shake hands with each other before the trophy presentation down on the field. Please join us and join Jason down on the field for the trophy presentation right after this. Young brother, if you pick up this to settle a petty dispute or beef over a girl or perceived diss or territory, there are only two places you will end up, either in a six by eight foot hell hole known as a prison cell or here in the cemetery in an even smaller kind of box, a coffin. We don't need another tombstone, street corner shrine, vigil, or mother in tears wailing about how the son she loved died alone in a hail of bullets on a cold, dark city street. We've had more than enough of that. What we do need, however, are more young men who go on to become business owners, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. More young men who live long enough to become great fathers and grandfathers. Knowing how to load and cock a pistol and pull a trigger doesn't make you a man. So don't settle your arguments with a gun. Talk it out, don't shoot it out. We give a damn about you. Your life matters. Jason Dunn, director of the Cleveland Muni Football League. I'm down on the field at the conclusion of the 2021 Pee Wee Championship game. 
Today was a hard-fought game between the Collinwood Cobras and the Southside Panthers. I am now down on the field with the 2021 Pee Wee runner-ups, Collinwood Cobras. And you hear the crowd, you hear the crowd in the background. I want to first start off by giving out a specialty award. This kid had a, a pretty remarkable day on defense, total with nine tackles. Number two, Ramir Kirby. Hey, Ramir, how you doing today? You should sleep well tonight. You were all over the field, man. You, you never gave up, you never ran out of gas. You showed relentless effort, and for that reason, you are our 2021 Defensive Player of the Game. You want to kind of talk about your preparation for today? Um, running a lot of sprints and doing a lot of push-ups and being focused. Okay, you definitely showed speed, strength, and endurance on the field today. So congratulations, this is all yours. Now, before you leave, would you like to thank anybody? I thank all my family for um, giving me an opportunity and raising me. I right, appreciate that. Thanks a lot, Ray Mary. So I now want to call up head coach Dave Morgan. Don't take that stroke, coach. All right, so I'm now down joined by the head coach of the 2021 runner-up Collinwood Cobras. Hey, coach, this trophy right here belongs to you. Runner-up award, okay? Now, it's hard, it's hard, you know, it's your second matchup, uh, and, and it's hard to go out there to prepare, let alone beat a good team uh, a second time. This is your second matchup. Uh, both teams are pretty familiar with one another. You know, what did it take for you guys to get to this point since you guys started in June and you're still playing in October? Pretty much a lot of hard work and dedication from everybody we had on this uh, team, coaching staff and everybody. They came out here, they worked as hard as they could, came up short to a great team. That's all we can say on that one. Yeah, and you guys you guys have no reason to hang your heads. The kids fought all the way to the, to the final whistle. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you went up against a, a pretty stout and a pretty good team, uh, which is the reason they are the champions. And that is no slight against you guys because you guys had a tremendous season, uh, second year in a row, uh, been in the championship game, uh, young squad. So I anticipate you guys are looking to make another run next year. Yes, we are. We will be back next year, stronger than ever. Okay. So you heard it first. That's the coach of the uh, Collinwood Cobras, Dave Morgan, your 2021 Pee Wee Division runner-ups. I am now down on the field, flanked by your 2021 Pee Wee Division champions, Southside Panthers. Let's give it up. So I'm gonna first start this ceremony off with calling up our offensive player of the game. This kid had 15 rushes, two touchdowns, 60 total yards on offense, and he was everywhere on defense. Carol, come on up here. Man, Aaron, you, you was Mr. Do-It-All. They had you lined up at tailback, at fullback. I seen you sitting behind me up in the booth. Man, you were everywhere today, man. How did you prepare for today's game, and how were you so ready? It was just putting in work at practice, and that's it, just putting in work at practice. Putting in work at practice, hey, that, that effort definitely showed. And you know what? Before we ended the telecast, I personally made sure I gave a shout out to the entire office of line. I think you should do the same. Yeah. Without my line, I couldn't do nothing without scoring. I couldn't score without my line. Okay, you got it there. So, the 2021 Offensive Player of the Game, Aaron Carroll, this is yours. All right, get on up, coach. Come on, coach. You did you, you hand, you got it? Uh, <laughs> so I'm now down on the field, joined by Mr. Champion, head coach of the Pee Wee Division, South Sap Panthers, Michael Shropshire. Shrop, man, that was, a, that was a pretty impressive performance. Um, you know, the preparation definitely showed 
Um, you, you guys were battle tested. You guys were ready, and the kids, offensively and defensively, were eager. You know, what did you do to prepare, or did you do anything different this week? First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to God for making all of this possible. My staff, my team, moms, my parents, they say it takes a village. So we put in overtime this week. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 hey, we did the do. Yeah. Hey, and, and, and doing the do and putting that overtime definitely showed. And today, you guys earned this right here. And when I say they earned it, they definitely earned it. So another congratulations to Michael Shropshire and the Southside Panthers. And that's it down here on the field. And I'm going to toss it back up to you, John. All right, Jason, good job. And congratulations to the new 2021 Pee Wee Division football champions, the Southside Panthers. It's been a very fine season this year for Cleveland Muni football in this Pee Wee Division. And we thank you, the community of Cleveland, the coaches, the team moms, all the volunteers, the support staffs, and we thank TV20 as well. So for my partner, Jason Dunn, for the staff of Cleveland Muni Football, I'm John Good. Thank you for joining us and enjoy your family, your friends, and this beautiful holiday season. Good night, everybody.